my name is Mrs. Landry. I'm a math teacher at Brighton, and I wanted to share with you a book about animals and knitting and skip counting. It's called Sheep Won't Sleep, and it's written by Judy Cox. Larissa could not sleep. She tried everything, warm milk, reading, humming a lullaby, even her knitting. Counting sheep usually works, she thought. So she closed her eyes and pictured gentle, woolly, white sheep sailing over a stile with the perfect grace of ballet dancers. One by one, Clarissa counted them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A loud bah made her open her eyes, and to her surprise, she saw ten sheep in her room. It's not working, she said, watching the sheep, which had begun to get into her things. One ewe balanced on the bookcase with a lampshade on its head. You're not trying hard enough, advised the sheep. Try pairs of alpacas. See all the sheep in her room? Clarissa knew that pairs meant twos, so she started to count by twos. Long-necked, long-legged alpacas leaped over the stile. Unlike the plain white sheep, their wool was as colorful as Clarissa's basket of yarn. Orange and lime green, magenta and yellow, two by two, she counted. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. The alpacas joined the sheep in Clarissa's room, but Clarissa was still no closer to dreamland. Try llamas, said one of the alpacas, tossing a ball. Count them by fives. That should do the trick. So Clarissa pictured llamas, each group in a herd of five llamas. She counted llamas patterned like silly socks and polka dots, stripes and zigzags as they scrambled over the stile and landed at the foot of her bed. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Now her bedroom was full of woolly animals. What a racket! More, said the llama. Try yaks. Ten at a time. Just do it. So Clarissa shut her eyes again. Herds of yaks. Ten in each herd. The yaks struggled over the stile, bumping into one another. Clarissa counted by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 50 yaks in woolly coats of many colors, argyles, diamond patterns, cables, and fair aisles, like a wardrobe of winter sweaters. Clarissa sneezed. Her bedroom overflowed with animals shedding wool everywhere. They bawed and bleated and snorted. They pawed and pranced, playing with her toys, reading her books, and trying on the clothes in her closet. The wall seemed to creak and bend. The noise was terrific, and the smell, whew, How many animals? Clarissa added them up. 10 sheep counted by ones, 20 alpacas counted by twos, 20 llamas counted by fives, 50 yaks counted by tens. 10 plus 20 plus 20 plus 50 equals 100 animals. She couldn't keep 100 animals in her room. Maybe if I count backward, I can subtract them away, she thought. She plucked a strand of wool caught on the bedpost and began to wind it up as she counted back down from 100. 99, 98, 97. 
just counting backwards. The ball of wool in her hands grew bigger, and to her surprise, three sheep unraveled until they had completely disappeared. She counted faster, winding the ball as she did so. One by one, she unwound each sheep. When the ball was as big as a baseball, the sheep were gone. 100 minus 10 equals 90. So she started on the alpacas. And 90 minus 20 equals 70. Now the ball was as big as a basketball, so she wound the llamas up as well. 70 minus 20 is 50. Now only the yaks were left. They protested a bit when she started whining, but soon they were gone too. 50 minus 50 is zero. Now Clarissa had a gigantic ball of colorful yarn. So she got out her knitting needles. She finished just as the morning sun peeked through the curtains, but Clarissa didn't notice. She'd been knitting all night, and now she slumbered peacefully beneath her new polka dot striped zigzaggy rainbow pattern afghan. The end. Sheep won't sleep. Thank you for spending time with me. Bye.